Keats thought that Newton was destroying the poetry of the rainbow by explaining the spectrum. Or completely destroying the mystery of it. Destroying yeah. the mystery of it. And, and the, the message of my book is that you don't, uh, by, by destroying the mystery, you increase the poetry. You don't, you don't decrease and it. And I try to go there in all of my work, whether or not I succeed, exactly. that's my intent. Uh, I think there's no more reproduced image when people want you to think of God than a sunset with beams of light yeah. coming out. But I also know that the surface of the sun is 6,000 degrees and there's Rayleigh scattering in the atmosphere. You have water droplets condensing to make yeah. clouds. And exactly. So where do you differ from this? Maybe uh, I go a little bit further in the direction of good-natured ridicule uh, of absurd ideas like astrology. You're saying it's good-natured, but clearly the people who are who are the, on the other side of your wit and intelligence, uh, would, are they saying you're being good-natured? Possibly not. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't really care about that. Um, Possibly not. <laughs> um, no, I mean, oh, I, I feel stupid next to you. No, I, I mean, I, and I know all this stuff, all right? So, oh, come on. Let me <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I have an eye to not just the, the astrologer that I'm talking to, uh -huh. but the, for example, the radio audience or whatever it is that, that, are, that are listening in um, if you call somebody an idiot, you're not going to change his mind. But you may change the minds of a, a thousand people listening in. Yeah, so let me ask you something. But just flat out. Sure. Flat out. I don't have a problem if people feel spiritually when they contemplate the cosmos. And I may even feel some of that as well. I'm really talking about, as religion manifests in the world, the whole other portfolio of things you're supposed to do the rituals that derive from it, the rules that come down from revealed text, that's a whole other conversation than telling me that I'm experiencing an open door to God when I'm on a mountaintop. I think those are two different things. I think God and religion. Yeah, but I, I, no, no. I believe you yeah. that you see those as two different yeah. things, but most people who are vocal and active and politically motivated do not. But why should that keep you from God? I mean, if, if you have an experience of God, why should all the other stuff that, that distracts you keep you from that? I mean, it would be like saying, you know, I ran into a, I, I took a terrible course in, uh, in science once and all the teachers were terrible. Well, does that mean you don't believe in science anymore? No, it, it means you don't believe or you haven't had a good experience of the other things, of the human element of it. So well, I, What I, I might ask is, which god are you, is it Zeus that I'm coming closer to? Because I am on the mountaintop where Zeus lived. Mount Athena Olympus. did come out of his head. <laughs> right, <laughs> so, so uh, maybe there's a particular god that you would rather it be than other gods that have come before people of, of the past. But I also know that throughout most of the history of science, some of the greatest scientists have ever lived have been deeply religious themselves. Mm -hmm.